Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, it's another haul video. I had to take my son to an appointment today and I thought while I'm out I'll go to Spotlight and grab some archival ink because I want some brown archival ink. So anyway, on the way there are a couple of secondhand shops. So I did stop into one on the way and I found these. So there are two of these key rings. Now they have little bags, love hearts and lipsticks on them so I thought that'd be really nice on a dangle and I found these buttons they're nice pink nice for shabby chic I reckon and someone in one of my groups has uh, requested buttons so I think I'll send a few of those off as well there's this ribbon it's got little blue flowers on it There was this, it's not really my style of thing, but like you've probably seen in previous videos, I keep coming across cupcake and ice cream things. And um, so I've decided that I'll make a journal, like a sweet recipe journal and um, put some of this in. It's also good for swaps, gifts send to other people. craft strips they look leatherish I'm sure they're not leather though but their colors were great for tags so that'd be handy now I also grabbed another stamp album got too many stamps so I need to store them and it was a very good price because they're quite expensive stamp albums and I was really excited when I found these there are about five of them I tried hard not to grab them all, but what I really like is that they have your little fabric and paper flowers in them um, and the buttons and that and the colours are just great. And I hardly have any paper or fabric flowers because I haven't got around to making any yet. So, you know, they have wire in them, some trims and beads. And there's this one, beautiful colours in that bit of bling and the good thing is I can sort them into the containers that I already have all this sort of thing in and then I've got some more containers to keep all my ephemera so little ribbon flowers I think they're paper ones there and some ribbons so cheap too I couldn't believe it it's the same with this you know it would cost you a good few dollars uh, just for the container and they're so handy to store this sort of thing in um, this one seems to be full of stars and Christmassy things so I think someone was making Christmas cards because there's little bonbons angel little present die cuts there's pegs sorry bumped the camera then these are little fabric buffy stars some wire bling stick on stars and these look like wood wood ones. They can be painted. I mean they've already got gold paint, but can embellish them some more. It's a really fun find that was. And then I found some hankies. Now you used to see them everywhere and I just don't find them anymore. And I see people make the most beautiful corner tuck spots and pockets with them. It goes that way. It's got lovely embroidery there. Same as this one. And then there were these three that are all quite similar. Um, they just have different colours around the outside, but for a corner pocket, you know, you can get four good corner pockets out of that, plus some extras. And then there's one with grey around the edge or blue and a yellow around the edge. So they're lovely. And then I did make it to Spotlight and I went looking for my ink and what do you know they didn't have it so and you feel so ripped off when you can't get what you want so then you go and buy something else just to make up for it so um, the Easter stuff was on sale so I bought this cute little bunny face ribbon and then I always check the remnants bin and there's this pom-pom trim it's a lovely blue colour this, so I might put some of that in my daughter's bird journal. A big lot of this material, um, that would be nice in a Christmas journal. 
I thought this was a great find. Um, unicorn fabric. Good for some fantasy fairy journal or some golden books. Uh, it's also got some glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that. That's the second pack of these I've grabbed. Uh, little eyelets. They are a baby poo colour, but oh well. They're so cheap at 50 cents. So I think they'll be all right in vintage tags and a few other things. So they'll get used. And then I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube and I see people all the time using gelatos and they had gelatos on sale and they're quite expensive so I thought at that price I'd grab a couple of packs of those so I can experiment with them. So I like the colours, I like my natural colours so the greens were great and, and these are quite different, something to play with. And then I grabbed these, they're stylish brush markers from Micador or Micador. They're dual ended, it looks like they have a thin end, thin pen end and a brush end and I'm hoping that these will be good. They are water based uh, for colouring and stamps for stamping. So if I want like pink flowers and green leaves on the one stamp, I'll be able to do that um, quite easily with these. So have some fun with those. And then on the way back, of course, there has to be another second-hand shop. So I ducked in there and I've got these. They're ornament hooks, but they almost look like paper clips. And I'm thinking I can possibly use them like a paper clip and then have dangles coming off of them. So I'll give that a go sometime. There's this Take 5 notepad. Um, I was hoping it was in a like wrapper, but I've taken it out. So I didn't get to look inside. I was hoping it had the flowers on the inside, which it does. It has Take 5 on there. I might have to cut that out. So. There were these creative tags, parcel tags. Just white with black around the ring. And there's this cute little box that had these shoes on and you open it up and it's got note paper and it's got shoes on it. I have found um, a secondhand book that is just pictures of lots of different sorts of stylish shoes and I thought, you know, someone might like a shoe journal. Some people like their fancy shoes, not me, but yeah, someone might and I love the little box. And then, of course, I always check the books because I'm always looking for Edith Holden. Um, I've only found one so far, but I found a Victorian Flowers Day book. I've got a few others of these and I just love the flowers in it. Not that I needed any more books after my book haul the other day, but it's very hard to walk past ones that have pictures like this in them. Love lilies. There's an Australian bird telephone and address book. Not sure whether I'll cut this one up because it's so gorgeous. It's a nice budgie picture in here somewhere. Look at that. Love budgies. I've grown up with budgies as pets. They're cheeky little buggers. So, yeah, just gorgeous. It's got the best pictures in it. Got some nice little ones as well. Then Beatrix Potter Treasury. I have a few Beatrix Potter's books, so I'm going to have to refrain from buying any more of these. But the pictures are always a great size for your pockets and tags and that. And I even like the back, black and white ones in this are quite cute. And then there was the last one, the Kate Greenaway collection. Now I'm not very familiar with her work, but the cover drew me to it. And it's got really nice little pictures, vintage style people. So I thought that would be excellent for tags and other embellishments. Even this border can be cut up and used. A 
so yes that brightened up my day um, so now I better get off and do some housework hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you next time bye